What's going on, all you nerdy people? Welcome back to the Nerd for Life 298 page. Today, we got two things we need to talk about. Two dose, two. First things first, my gaming series is about to take a turn for something good. I have not bought a new game in like forever. So, I went and purchased. Far Cry 5. So, we're going to be playing Far Cry 5, and I'm going to start a series on it. And we're going to play through this whole stinking game. There will probably be videos put up every day, if not every other day of this series. Because I want to get into this game, and I want to play it. I'm going to try to make them 20 minutes long. If y'all want less time, like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, that's a little hard to do. But I can swing it. Just let me know down in the comments below. And the second thing we're going to get into is I went and watched Infinity War, the Avengers movie. And I want to, I've got some conclusions going on in this video that I'd like to talk about. Now, uh, we are, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in here. So if you're clicked on this video because you want to know about it and stuff like that, please click off of it. I don't want to ruin it for you. I don't want to knock out all the surprises and stuff in it. So I'm going to give you five seconds to click off this video. Okay. So if you're still on this video, you're wanting to hear my, my conclusions for this video. Now, don't hate me on this. Just try not to hate me. But I'm throwing the comic book out the door. I'm going to base this movie off of all the movies that's led up to this. Some of them I haven't seen. I haven't seen like Doctor Strange. I haven't seen the Black Panther. And I ain't seen the last uh, Captain America video. The one where he went after Bucky Barnes and stuff like that. Now I have not seen them. But I've got some conclusions going on on my old noggin up here. That I can't, I can't stop thinking about since I've watched this movie. This movie was, I'm going to start off by saying it was well written, it was well recorded, and edited and everything. It was amazing. I thought the video or the movie was really good. And a lot of you might, might agree with me, a lot of you might not disagree, or might disagree with me. But, I mean, that's me. That's just me. I'm just one man's opinion. And keep that in mind as we go through here, that way you don't start trying to bash me in the comments below. So... Another thing to get into about the movie is I, I loved how they took all these people from, you know, different stuff and blended them together. Their way they blended them was amazing. They did, I mean, really, Lucasfilms should take some notes off of this and maybe make a better Star Wars movie. <laughs> but... We're not talking about Star Wars. That's a whole nother subject right there. But the way they blended each... You mean you had the Asgardians. You had the space people from Guardians of the Galaxy. You had the Avengers from Earth. All mixed together and beautifully executed how they had all these put, put into the movie. I love how they executed all that stuff right there. It was just amazing. And also... Before we get into talking about this, there was a trailer for a movie coming out that I'm kind of pumped up about is freaking Venom. Oh, another anti-hero video? Yes! I'm really excited about that. And, y'all may already know this, but not, know this by now, Deadpool 2. Ah, I love Deadpool. Look, look, Deadpool. Deadpool's my favorite person in the whole comic in in uh, comic issues. Any kind of comics out there, I love Deadpool. Second is always Wolverine. It'll always be Wolverine, and then Venom. I do love me some Venom. But anyway, let's jump into. This. Now, before I get into the my conclusions about this, I have to say. With it, with this video, it was 
the Empire Strikes Back kind of video. I mean, blow your mind like, what? It's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, the good guys took a straight butt kicking. Straight to the face. I mean, it is, the way they did it, it was amazing how they did it. Uh, like it, like it, you know, like in Star Wars, I keep referring to Star Wars on this, I don't know why, but like in, you know, the Empire Strike Back, the end of it, he goes, he goes, Luke, I am your father, and he drops down, and that's pretty much the end of the video. That's what happened in this video. I mean, they took straight up butt kicking, and the loss is such a magnitude of loss in this, and it's just... Bam, end of the video. Thanos staring into the sun. But yeah, let's jump into these conclusions. And you know, it was like, out of this whole movie, one thing that bothered me. I don't know why, it's such a little thing that it bothered me. You've got Tony Stark that, I mean, his road all the way up to this, he has grown so substantially. I mean, from his making an iron suit in a cave to his nanotechnology of his suit. And he's rocking a flip phone. What the flip? Why is Tony Stark rocking a flip phone? Out of all the technology he had, he had Jarvis and stuff like that. Why a flip phone? Beats me. That's one thing that did bother me out of this whole video, which is stupid, but... Tony Stark, why a flip phone? There's, I've got two main conclusions out of this. First things first, I want to talk about some funny moments I thought was freaking hilarious in this video, or this movie. It was uh, the part where you got Rocket fighting along a side of Bucky Barnes. I thought this was hilarious. He got, you know, Rocket's just shooting away. Bucky Barnes picks him up. He slings him around while they're shooting. It was awesome. He sends him down and Rocket goes, That's a nice gun. You want to sell that? He goes, It's not for sale. He goes, What about that arm? <laughs> he just looks at him like he's stupid. He goes, I'm going to own that arm. I don't want that arm. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. And uh, another part that was so funny is uh, it was... Uh, when he's on the ship with Thor and all that, and he's trying to size his manhood up with uh, Thor, and uh, Groot's back there in the background. He's like, "I'm Groot," and he's like, "Don't say that!" And uh, he's like, "Bye, morons!" <laughs> Can't stop laughing. But yeah, let's let's get in the serious note of this. Conclusion number one is you got the part where uh, you got Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange cloak. On the ship, Doctor Strange goes. If it if it comes down to you, or Spider Man, I will protect my Infinity Stone before you all. I'm like, okay, so he loves his Infinity Stone more than he loves Tony Stark. He loves that Infinity Stone more than Tony Stark loves himself. <laughs> Funny joke. But anyway, it gets down to it, and uh, they fight. They fight Thanos and everything. And, uh, Thanos stabs Tony Stark. And, uh, he's getting ready to kill him. I mean, he's, I mean, he's respectful of Tony Stark. He, I think he likes him. But, Doctor Strange goes, right before he gets ready to blast him and kill him, he goes, wait. If I give you my stone, will you spare him? I'm like, hmm. So, he gives him the stone, he spares Tony Stark. What makes my brain go off is when I get on the place for, uh, when I get to the place where Thanos was supposed to be at and stuff like that, uh, Doctor Strange is off to the side and he's like sitting there like this, he's like, and stuff like that. And Iron Man goes, what are you doing? He goes, I have seen 14 million different endings to this war. And he goes, how many did we win? He goes, one. One out of 14 million. That makes you think that he wanted him to spare Tony Stark for a reason. 
I think towards the end of it, it's going to be Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America together fighting Thanos. But Thanos' glove got destroyed whenever he snapped. This leads me to my next conclusion. My next conclusion is when he sacrificed his daughter, because, you know, he had to sacrifice something he loved and cared about and cherished to get that Infinity Stone. He threw his daughter off the ledge. But when he snapped, he was standing right there near her. As whenever she was knee-high to a grasshopper kid. And she's smiling. I'm like, hmm. Don't take this off of comic books. That I, I mean, it's just theory that popped in my head. Maybe he's in another dimension. Maybe she trapped him in that gauntlet for some reason. And then it cuts off to a scene... I mean, it goes through all the deaths and stuff like that happened. It goes to the scene where he's, he's, he did what he said. He wants to be on the porch. He feels like he's at peace, that he's done something good. He's sitting on the porch and wants the sunrise. Maybe he's, there's like the doppelganger of him. Mind blown right there. And you're like, dude, I didn't think of that. Well, that's the reason why the nerd for life is here for you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just making making some hypotheses about it so that's my two conclusions I've got more conclusions that could go on and go on about this video for like forever but what I want to know I want to hear you comments down below I want to know what you think what you think out there about Infinity Wars I want you to please comment your opinion down below most of the time I could care less about pe people's opinion but I mean Captain America I like Captain America, he's not my favorite, but he's not my least favorite. I want to know down below what y'all think is going to happen. I mean, it, at the end of it, it showed Nick Fury. He made a, like, I think it was a call or something to somebody. I couldn't really make it out because there was somebody standing in front of me and it was kind of annoying. But uh, it also said that Thanos will be back. Mm, makes you think. Makes you think that, you know, maybe my alternate realities is not a bad idea so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here like I said please drop your comments down below what you think I want to know I want to hear your opinions I want to hear your hypothesis about this I want to know what you all think is gonna happen in the next video but if you like this video smash that like button if you enjoyed leave them comments down below let me know what you think of it and your conclusions and like always, hit that subscribe button, become part of the nerdy family today, and stay nerdy out there, my friends. Bye.